So in honor of Halloween, we are going over the skating don'ts of costumes. Mm, yeah, some of the worst costumes in our opinion over the years. What were you thinking? What were yeah. your parents thinking? What were your coaches thinking? What are you, by the way? I am sexy Arthur the Aardvark. What are you? I'm um, actor Army Hammer. I don't know who that is. But you get it, right? You okay. know what? I have a better idea. Change. Mmm, hello, yes, yes, oh. welcome back. We are British Columbia. But I think we have to switch for the audience. Three, two, one, go. Right, right, good. That's bad. Very That's astute, bad. very mm. astute. Mm. <laughs> Costumes. So first up, we have Dom Nina mm. and Shabalin, their 2010 uh, oh. original dance outfit. Where can we start? They are supposed to be Aboriginal people of Australia. Australia. Yes. They just put on not even like a loincloth. They just put on like leaves and, and paint and paint. Yeah. Also, Art. The choreography was terrible too. I think they started off with like picking out lice from each other's head. It was ridiculous. It was so bad. Mm. Remember, guys, something was lost in translation. I don't even know. But you know, know, they were original. Uh, oh. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Yana Kokolova and Sergei Novitsky. Pretty much anything between 2007 and 2010. A, a barely cursory search of Google will show you that. Yeah, simply yeah. ghastly. I personally like their Firebird because they mm. both look like Pokemon. Number three, it's actually our very own Dylan Moskovich. Mm. Yeah, I had to throw myself in there. My oh. Olympic short program outfit. We kept our short program a second year. Mm. We tried to spice things up a little. By embarrassing yourself? I was not a fan. <laughs> I was not a fan. I, the boot covers were honestly my favorite. Yeah, the boot cover spats were great. Yeah. As was the yellow bow We tie. all make mistakes. Yeah, moving on. Yeah. Number four. Aliona Savchenko and Robin Slokovy. One of my favorite pair of teams. They're amazing. Some interesting outfits though. Who More can forget Pink Panther? Oh. I actually didn't hate it a lot, but like on camera, the blue and the yellow look like Jolly Ranchers just trying to tie Oh, uh, I was going to say some sort of gummy bear. Moving on to number five. Mm. Natalie Pesci and Fabian Borzak. 2010 Olympic cowboy outfit. Mm. Sometimes you can look at a picture and you can't tell if it's a skating event or a screenshot of Toy Story 2. There's playing it safe and then there's like, yeah. Throw caution to the yeah, wind, yeah. let's look like cowboys. Yeah. And then number six, Evgeny Plushenko. I mean, between the mullet and the gloves, there's always something going on. But well, the there. mullet is key Russia. Well, no, mullet. it's like his, like it's the key Plushenko. I feel I like he know. started a, a haircut for young male figure skaters. <laughs> if you had fair blonde hair, you had his you haircut. You have to have it long. It's like a bowl cut that dropped very nicely down <laughs> over the ears, just in case they got cold, and then finished with a nice square back. <laughs> around the shoulders. You know? And to go with his golden locks, he had a nice odd golden costume. He looks like a Wendy's baked potato. Dave Thomas actually designed yes, that I think one. so. Yeah. Good old Plushenko. <sighs> if you have any thoughts on your favorite worst outfits, feel free to comment down below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe. Please. Subscribe. You must subscribe. Please subscribe. It's imperative. We that you literally subscribe. live for attention. Mm, yes. <laughs> Anyways, thank you from beautiful British Columbia. 